More flooding rains potentially this week. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see there's a mixed bag to the west tonight. Thunderstorms near Murfreesboro. That pink mix around Clarksville is freezing rain and sleet. And it's snowing around Evansville, Indiana in southern Indiana. Now, could we be getting a mixed bag tonight? No, it'll come down as raindrops, but an aerial flood watch, a new one, will be issued at 10 o'clock tonight. 69 matches the high temperature we had yesterday. So we have the same high today as we did yesterday. Today was a lot warmer than expected with the sun breaking out. We did pick up 1.56 inches of rain yesterday. And Coinkey Dinky, we hit 1.56 inches today. So that's a total of 3.12. 3.12 over the last 48 hours. Our peak wind gust was a far cry of the 41 mile per hour gust we had yesterday. Today's gust was 19 miles per hour at 6.53 this evening. Now, temperatures did struggle to get out of the mid 50s if you were in Campbell County, La Follette, Wartburg, or Oneida, where they had more clouds and fog. But 70 in Maryville hit 70 in Teleco Plains and 70 in Sevierville. Big difference, like 15 degrees. For from west to east. Actual rainfall just in the last 24 hours exceeds two inches at McGee Tyson as the flood watch, the new one starts at 10 o'clock tonight, runs until 1 p.m. on Friday. And you'll notice the heavier rains are likely to be north of I-40. That seems to be the trend as all the models are pretty much pointing in that direction. Here's why. Here's one example. This suggests about an inch, maybe can we get more, maybe an inch and a half around Jamestown and Oneida by the time we hit Friday morning. And this takes us about almost 3 p.m. It'll be over by then. But this only shows about a half inch of rain in Knoxville. That'd be great, right? Just a little bit more. But if we were to look at a different solution, Different set of equations, but probably the same time frame. We're looking at probably about another inch, maybe an inch and a tenth. Uh, there in Knoxville, maybe two and a half in Jamestown. So there could be some locally higher amounts, especially north of Interstate 40. Look at Teleco Plains, maybe a third, maybe two tenths of an inch in Athens. So probably not as much further south in the Southern Valley. Lots of clouds rolling in now as I speak, and that pipeline of moisture in terms of clouds coming up from the Pacific Ocean, across Mexico, across Texas, from the low-level jet stream, pushing that moisture here. Headlines, more rain later tonight, showers and storms on Thursday, most of it in the morning, or if not the early afternoon, and then the heaviest should be north of Interstate 40, so it won't last the entire day. I've got a 60% chance of rain for your day on Thursday. Now, here's how it progresses. We've been watching this weird uh, up-and-down warm front that you can see to the south. It kind of snakes in here by midday, if not mid-morning, 7 o'clock, and then it kind of lingers up toward the north in Kentucky by midday, and that's when the rain will likely slow down. So after midday, most of it moves up toward Bowling Green and into Kentucky. We get a break until evening because that's when the cold front comes by. There's 7.30 Friday morning, and we could find some more locally heavy rain with the passage of that front. And then by the time we move into Friday night, things slow down. Maybe some spots of rain, some drops or flakes on Saturday. Wouldn't surprise me. And as some of the data still suggest another impulse coming in on Monday or Sunday, I should say Sunday that may mix in with some drops and flakes. Again, timing is everything. We'll wait and see how cold it gets for that second round for tonight, though, 47 the low more rain develops, more clouds and patches of fog winds about five to 10 plus they'll slow down overnight tonight. We're down to 42 in La Follette, 34 in Jamestown, 37 Crossville, about 49 for a low in Teleco Plains in Monroe County, 62 your high on Thursday. Mostly cloudy. It's about a 60% chance of rain. Showers and storms still a possibility, but winds will be relatively light and variable. 65 for Newport, 69 for Teleco Plains, but only the upper 50s for Wartburg and Jamestown, as well as Oneida and La Follette come Thursday afternoon. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. 61 on Friday. That's mainly in the morning. Drops and flakes possible on Saturday. And then we've got some rain snow showers. Most of the snow may be in the higher elevations on Sunday because by the time we hit Sunday afternoon, we're in the upper 40s and then another warming trend with sunshine by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So something to look forward to if you like drier and warmer air. By the way, you can keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app. Now with Pete Michaels traffic, weather and traffic perfect together and at your fingertips. Keep you and your family safe. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store, Google Play. Get weather alerts right to your phone. Uh, very easy to do and hopefully you'll do that soon. Anyway, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.